Wealth, poverty, and politics once again. The mundane progress driven by ordinary economic and social processes in a free society becomes dramatic only when its track record is viewed in retrospect over a span of years. So we look back over the 20th century and we conclude what? Well, for example, at the beginning of the 20th century, uh, I'm trying to think, I think only 10% of American homes had flush toilets and only 3% had electric lights. Uh, and so, and, and that was improved not as a result of a lot of noise, demonstrations in the streets, great pronouncements from uh, uh, eloquent speakers, but by the ordinary market processes that have gone on for years. And what do we make of government, what do we make overall of government attempts to boost economic growth, get people out of poverty, promote education, if you look at the whole sweep of the 20th century? Good heavens. Well, uh, let, let me give just one example, the Federal Reserve System. Federal Reserve System was brought in to prevent uh, severe deflation that could lead to downturns in the economy. Uh, for the first 150 years of this country, the federal government did absolutely nothing when there was a downturn in the economy. The last time that happened was uh, 1921, where the unemployment rate was 12 percent. The Harding administration did nothing except cut back on government spending because there wasn't enough money coming in to cover it. Imagine that. Uh, the next year, unemployment was down to about 6 percent. And the year after that, it was down another 2 or 3 percent. And nobody did anything. Uh, uh, Reagan in 87 would be another one. Another one. Uh, the one-day record for the drop in the stock market that was set in 1929 was broken in 1987. The reason we don't remember it is that Reagan did nothing and the economy recovered. Fast, as I recall. Yes. Uh, people talk about the, how the government has to intervene because you had, you know, 25 percent unemployment during the Great Depression. And what they don't understand is there was not 25 percent unemployment until after the government intervened. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the stock market crash occurred in October 1929. Uh, unemployment peaked at 9 percent two, two months later started drifting downward, and by June 1930, it was down to 6.3%. That's, that's when the first major federal intervention in the economy occurred to get us out of that, that situation. Within six months, that downward drift of unemployment reversed. It was, it was into double digits six months later for the first time, and it stayed in double digits the entire decade of the 1930s, every single month. So uh, if, when you look at the facts, they show, show a very different picture than what you get from the rhetoric. Right.